Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Anthazar, but y'all can just call me Anthe. <laughs> Two years and a half ago, I wrote a blog post about advice. And you know what? I thought I should film it because that post encapsulates my personality to a T in many ways. So, drama. Let's go for it, shall we? I'm gonna have so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> I get to be as wacky as I want on camera and I love it. I'm going out of my mind. This is gonna be a fun video to edit. I'm gonna be laughing hysterically all day long. Laughing is good for the soul. <laughs> so here we go. Let's talk about advice, shall we? I am a published author. I thought of an idea. I wrote that idea down. I wrote words. I deleted those words and replaced them with words that made sense. I added words in between those words. I saved a lot, a lot. I read my words. A lot, a lot. I read my words again and again. I listened to a fake British voice who read my words out loud to me. Much love to you, Peter. You're wonderful, Peter. And that was just the first draft. I'm kidding, I'm, I'm really kidding, mostly. I think it's safe to say that I am a writer. I am an author. I am creative. I am an artist. A lot of work goes into creating something like a book, especially when you do it all by yourself. But the focus of this video isn't to tell you about my book and why you should buy it. Go buy my book. No, I want to talk about all of the advice and research and information that I have gathered throughout the years. <laughs> why does all of this exist? We're okay. We're okay. So much advice. So much advice. Are you ready? Advice dump! Write lots of books. Write an endless series. Don't write outside your genre. Write short books. Write long books. Get a mailing list. Get a website. Get a YouTube. Get a blog. Don't get a blog. Have a website presence without the spiders. How to sell your book without sounding like a sleazy salesman. Go buy my book. Earn 3K in a month. In a week. In a day. How to sell your soul without sounding like a desperate devil. Somebody save this poor schnook. How to be professional. You need to be a pro. You need to act like a pro. Uh. Have a platform, have a focus. Script all your videos. Don't script any of your videos. You need to have something of value. Give something away, like your firstborn child. <laughs> or a paperclip. You only need one book to be successful. You only need six trillion. 672 billion, 324 million, 824,000, and one book to be successful, like me! If I can write that absurd amount of books in three days, so can you! Just get my training videos! And if you buy in this superficial deadline that I made up for no reason whatsoever, then you get the amazing discount VIP price of $895. But act now or the price will go up to $900. This special offer that's not really special at all because I cycle through it four times a year isn't going to last long. <sighs> oh, really? Good grief. How? To do all of this. Uh, what? Ah! All of that advice is downright scary. How do I even begin? Where do I begin? Where is the con why is it all conflicting? Like why? <laughs> start a blog. Don't start a blog. Like <laughs> pick one. <laughs> Which one is it? You only need one book to be successful, or you need five billion. <laughs> like which is it? I personally am the type to get overwhelmed really easily. I can barely write the dumb book. Can we just write the dumb book? As a published author, of course I want to be successful. Whatever success is anymore, I, I don't even know. I want readers to find my work and I want readers to love and enjoy my work and get fulfillment out of it and find it exciting. I think that any artist whatever medium they use, want others to get enjoyment 
out of their creations. Like an innocent child showing their parents their drawing. Finding my readers or finding my viewers like you, I'm sure there's a process to that. And I'm working towards that. And I think we all are working towards that. When we create something, we want to be seen because there is this invisible barrier that seems to block us from being viewed, whether it's an algorithm or it's a thumbnail or it's searchable tags or whatever it is, we don't always know how to break through that barrier. There's this professionalism kind of veneer that we all have to be like, hi, welcome to my channel and look how beautiful my thumbnails are and look how beautiful my background is. Everybody's like, you have to have this fancy professionalism have this beautiful web page and hopefully it'll be okay and if you do not have a professional web page right off the bat doom upon your children's children how to begin no, no. now that the fun is over now i can give you the real tea the real talk the real talk like moths to the flame we are drawn to drama because it's exciting we love dumpster fires your girl Anthony is drawn to drama. Anybody in my family is like, this happened today. And I'm like, oh really? What, what happened? Do tell me. Do tell me. Long, long before all of the drama on AuthorTube blew up, I have seen lots and lots of writing courses online. And there's always this, oh, sign up for my mailing list and I'll send you a free book or I'll send you a free video on my, that introduces my course. I'm like, all right, I'll sign up for something free. And it's always this, I'm a number one bestseller and you can be one too. Just sign up for my thousand dollar writing course. Let me just say, I have seen thousand dollar writing courses. And I'm sitting there going, you want me to pay how much for stuff I can get free on YouTube? <laughs> First of all, how many books have you published? One? Uh, I'm sorry, what? What? Life hack, people. You can always tell how well someone's book is doing by just looking at the Amazon sales rank. If their rank is in the millions or mid hundred thousands, their, their book is maybe selling a copy or two a week, maybe? So I've seen a lot of these courses and I've been like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna buy your course. Like, first of all, <laughs> who can afford a thousand dollar course? People get student loans for college. I've been very wary all my life about courses, and I, but I never really get frustrated or angry that they do it. I just kind of roll my eyes and go, yeah, I know how you're making your money. <laughs> it's not rocket science to figure that one out. <laughs> I don't fault them or get angry about it. And I think a lot of people like to get up in arms about stuff because probably that's the only thing you can do on, on social media. Like what else are you gonna do? <laughs> Look at puppy videos? You're doing it wrong if you're not yelling, if you're not angry, you have to always be angry. You have to always be up in arms about something. Everybody's gotta be angry about stuff. Everybody's gotta fight about stuff. Everybody's gotta be up in arms about stuff. Everybody's gotta be a piranha. Like, I don't really fault them for trying to sell a course. It's really up to the consumer to figure out that something is not worth their dollar. If it's not worth your dollar, don't buy it. Earth shattering advice from Anthe. You know, YouTube is a platform that wants to make money. It's just a fact. YouTube decides who makes money and who doesn't. We have to understand that this platform is designed to make money. Also, us itty bitty baby creators want to earn a living at the thing that we love to do. And it's wonderful that YouTube and that Amazon are platforms where we can. We can make a video and upload it for free on the internet. YouTube is a platform that provides that for us. Amazon is a platform where we could upload a book and sell it. Nobody had that 30 years ago. We live in a wonderful time where artists and writers and creators can make a livelihood at the thing that they love to do. Wow. If we love certain creators, then we should do our best to support them because what would happen if they can't make the content that we love that they're making? They're gonna have to go get a day job.
No, we want them to keep making good content and good YouTube videos that entertain us. It's okay to need to eat. It's okay to need shelter. It's okay to need transportation. It's okay to sell your book. It's okay to sell what you love. It's okay to earn a living. We shouldn't begrudge someone, but I do think that we should make our own personal decision about what our dollar will go to. Personally, I'm having fun on this platform. I get to act in front of a camera and be as wacky as possible. Like never in my wildest dreams did I know that I needed this in my life, but I need this in my life. Everybody is trying to hide their imperfections on social media and I'm over here. Obviously, I want to grow and trying not to fall into the numbers trap as the numbers go up and you're like, oh, I got another subscriber today. Like what? When you're a fan fiction writer, you know, every review that you get on your story is a number that you love and adore. For instance, someone on Tuesday was like, oh, hey, great chapter. And I was like, <gasps> someone actually said, hey, great chapter. It's like, I hope that you had fun watching me say some funny things because I sure had fun. If you don't have fun, then I'm so sorry. But yes, the beginning of the video is mostly sarcasm, just saying. <laughs> there was a lot of things that I had learned over the course of the years and was overwhelmed by it all. So much advice, so much advice. And I'm like, okay, well, what do I do? How do I be a writer? How do I make an author platform? Anthe is making an author platform now, except it's not professional whatsoever. <laughs> There's no professionalism here. This is Anthe making stupid faces at the camera. Oh. <laughs> you want professionalism? There's nothing here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed and you like my content, then I would appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. We are a small but growing community of writers and readers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Until next time, bye. Ah! <laughs>